it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this Tuesday afternoon. It's brilliant sunshine here in the UK actually, but it was really, really stormy in the night and I had a bit of insomnia going on as well. Um, today's video is going to be completion, a uh, completion video for you. And this one was gifted to me or sent to me as a PR pack by Fan Sales. So um, I have three items to show you today, one canvas and two off canvases. And I will link all the products that I show in today's video in the description box down below. And also please like, subscribe, share, comment down below, follow me on TikTok and Instagram and hit the little notification button or bell even that will notify you of any of my future video uploads. Okay. So hope you enjoy today's video and I'm going to flip you around so you can see the table. Take care. Okay, right. So, as I said, uh, Fan Sales reached out to me via email to do a completion review or review for some of their products. And of course I said yes. Uh, the unboxing video I done a couple of weeks ago now. And now I have completed the product so this is my first time working with uh collaborating with fan sales but i have bought personal items from them before and um they are one of my favorite companies in fact i'd go as far as say they are probably my favorite company but i don't want to be biased against the other companies that i show products for as well so anyway the first little cute item was oh the diamond painted fidget spinner now if you're following me on um crazy borky's diamond art on instagram and tiktok then you would have probably seen this already because i've done a funny little video about <laughs> about me spinning it so here it is here's the cute little fidget spinner i went for obviously red because that's my favorite color and it is double-sided so you have to diamond paint both sides of the fidget spinner and one side um one side the sticker is on the the guide circle sticker is on the front and on the other side you have to sort of look through at the back of it so sometimes the the placement of the diamonds can be a bit funny but other than that it's great it works as you can see and yeah i really love it i really love these it's fun it's quick it's simple to do i have already sealed it there was a lot of excess glue on it i have to admit so i did have to sort of go around afterwards with a little um pair of tweezers just to pull off some of the excess because it was all around the sides and i went around with my nails as well guys <laughs> because you know that's what you do isn't it but it is lovely i i love um doing off canvas products and yeah it it does what it does and i think if all the children they love these types of things don't they they love fidget spinners and adults as well and you know if you've got itchy hands like i do then this is a good little device to help you with anxiety or whatever you know guys because you know um what a fidget spinner does and yeah i could sit there all day playing with it but um i have sealed both sides of it actually as well because um my children yeah they will try to take those diamonds off for sure but really happy with how it came out and i will be definitely getting a few more of these ones different styles of course though they do loads and loads of different styles of fidget spinners on their website and on pretty much all of the diamond painting websites actually but yeah beautiful so let me put that down to one side next item i got was a canvas so here it is now coming in let me just zoom you back out there 
Are we getting all of the canvas in? Just about. So it's a 30 by 30. Let me lift you up just slightly higher so we can see. There we go. 30 by 30 canvas. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Shaking you about. And it is an unusual image, this one. Now, <laughs> people tell me it looks a bit like a peacock. Um, I can see that. And I can see that it looks like something else, which I'm not going to mention on camera. But, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be a tree. And we can see all the roots down the bottom here. And we've got the sun and, yeah, a little, a little something something in the middle. But... Um, <laughs> Other than that, I love it. To me, it looks like a big firework as well going off. Let me get my notes to see how many this one had. I don't think it had that many. And, you know, it it went past, you know, I've done this really quickly. I think I've done it within a day, this one, or an afternoon even. Okay, let me see. Did I write anything bad about it? Um, Let's have a look. So I have got 30 by 30 centimetres, poured glue canvas, full drill, crystal rhinestone. And it was, I think I've got the price of it here. It was £3.49 on their website. And we had 13 different colours and shapes going on. Seven normal crystal rhinestones and six specials. And I started it, yeah, on the 27th and finished it on the 28th. It didn't take long at all, guys. And um, I probably would have finished it sooner if I hadn't have had the kids at home as well. But you know what they're like. They're always interrupting me. But it is pretty. And it, once again, if you're following me on Diamond, the Crazy Boggy's Diamond Art, you probably will have seen all of these that I'm showing you now. So I so always do little sneak peeks on there when I finish uh when i have a completion but um yeah it's unusual let's just say that but i do love the bubble round effects i would class it as a bubble round because even though there's a lot that are just normal crystal rhinestones in the background there are different shape uh different sizes of the rhinestones and the colors come together really well as well so there's that one. It's been sealed also with my Minwax. So, yeah. And the shine. Yeah. The sparkle and the bling is there with rhinestones. They always are. And these rhinestones, bubble rhinestones, uh, bubble round diamond paintings, they are really fun to do and really quick, easy, enjoyable i just love the whole process of doing bubble rounds and working with rhinestones actually i would say they are my favorite to work with <coughs> pardon me i've got dry throat today okay so there's that one and then the last little thing that i got is my clock so once again if you're following me on on crazy boggy's diamond art you would have seen this i have put the handles on it is going round they are moving occasionally um and it does hang on it does where is the little switch I'm trying to feel on the back there we go it does light up like so. I haven't put it on the wall yet because I want to show you guys first before I put it on a wall. Um, and it does look really nice. It does. It's, you know, going to go for, in, for my kiddies in my bedroom. So, you know, I can't remember how much this one was, though. Um, I, As I said, I will link it all in the description box down below. So if you see anything that you like, then you can hop on and... Um, you can go and check out those prices but it had about let's see how many different colors there one two three i think it had about 11 this one and uh 
I've done it really quickly, obviously. Within an afternoon, actually, I've done it. And I, I obviously sealed it. The only thing I said is I got a little bit of the sealant on the side of the clock. Um, so you just have to be mindful when sealing because obviously it's a matte a matte surface this it's not shiny so it does show so here that little little bit there you know you can see i didn't want to put the sealant over all of the clock but now looking back i'm thinking maybe i should have done actually because then it would have given it like a glossy effect um yeah but i wasn't sure really how how it would look and i didn't want to muck around with the clock too much um but as you can see it does work but it needs to go up on the wall um because the back spins around a lot i'm not sure if i put the handles on correctly or um or anything like that but you know the overall the adhesive was fine i had all the drills i had plenty of leftovers and you know the kiddies love it which is the main thing so the little ones anyway and they do lots of different variations of this clock as well they've got ones with just um patterns on i think so yeah check them out they're it's always nice to do something um something different and if you like gifting handmade products to your relatives, then it once again, it is a good product to do. Okay, right. Let me just do my final summary of, from fan sales. So let me get all the products in together and I'll come back to you. Right. So that's all my three little cute completions from fan sales. Huge thank you to Ryan at Fantails for allowing me to review these products and I hope to be collaborating with them sometime soon because I really, really do like Fantails. They have a really good budget-friendly company and good value for money actually as well. So, And they have so much to choose from on their website. Okay, guys, and um, I, I've done lots of hauls from Fantails. If you go back to um maybe a year or so ago maybe longer then you will see i done i used to do massive orders on fan sales and do huge hauls from them because i just found them so so good value for money and i really like their products as well so i have bought for that from them personally as well so Okay, guys, so that's all I've got for today. Just a little quick completion video. And I um, hope you like, subscribe, share, comment down below, follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgies Diamond Art, and hit that little notification button, which will notify you of all of my video uploads. Okay, guys, take care. I hope you all have a pleasant remainder of your Monday evening. And, um, yeah, take care, God bless, and look after yourselves, and most importantly, look after one another, okay? Happy crafting. Bye!